Hi Cancer, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. We're gonna do uh, your reading here in a moment. Just a couple announcements here before we get started. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description box. There will be an extended reading link below. If you'd like to check it out, it is an almost personal reading where I look at your person, what they're thinking, feeling about you, their upcoming actions, their intentions, love notes, and guidance, all right? Uh, also, I want to let everybody know I am uh, giving away a free personal reading each month. To enter, you just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. I will pick one random winner the first week of every month, okay? So I'm going to pull your cards here, Cancer. Uh, we're going to look at past, present, and future. We'll do some clarifying. Uh, we'll look, up what, look at what's upcoming, your challenges, and then we'll get some guidance for you, all right? So let's look at past, present and future energy we're going to start here with the psychic tarot oracle cards okay all right okay looks nice here cancer let me just put these cards over here so in your past energy all right you have suffering in silence so i feel Cancer, definitely when it comes to love, I feel like you've dealt with something heavy, right? Challenges here, right? And um, you feel like you've climbed this mountain and now you see the sunset ahead, okay? I feel, Cancer, you may have been through a lot when it comes to love, but I feel like Spirit here is telling you that there's something in the distance and maybe you can't see it right now, right? There's something beautiful, that beautiful sunset there right, or the sun here rising. There's something there that is meant for you. We're gonna see what that is about. So even though you may be feeling like you've been going through a lot of challenges, this is telling me that whatever those challenges are, right, there's a burden here being released, okay? You have number nine, and I love number nine because nine for me is destiny. Nine is, um, you know, uh, some sort of wish here, right? That's about to come true. So there looks like there's something nice on the horizon there, right? But it does feel like in the recent past here, you've had definitely some burdens, some challenges here. So let's see, uh, in your current energy, you have the base chakra, and this is really nice energy. This is a very grounded, rooted energy. Okay, so this is the root chakra here. It's a number one, can indicate, indicate a new beginning. And then you have here partnerships and alliances in your near future energy, number three here. This tells me that something here is about to happen for you and it's around a relationship. So let's pull um, your tarot and we'll see what messages come out for you. So messages here for cancer, past, present, and future. Please show cancer what they need to know. What does cancer need to know? So I'm just going to say also, Cancer, that I will call out the signs, know that they could be any sign. Roles and energies can be reversed as well. So take it how it resonates for you, okay? All right, let's get past energy here. Okay, we have the Four of Wands, we have the Six of Pentacles, and we have the Knight of Swords, okay? Current energy, you have the Hermit, we have the Strength card, and we have the King of Wands, all right? And in your near future energy, we have the Emperor, we have the Ace of Cups, and we have the three of pentacles. All right, so let's go through this, okay? So upcoming here, interesting, you have the five of cups and you have the knight of cups. And it's interesting because remember what I said here, you have suffering in silence. So I was that energy, right? Feeling disappointed, feeling like you can't see what's coming. But what's coming here is this knight of cups, all right? Somebody is coming towards you in a romantic way, okay? I'm going to say for some, it could even be an apology, 
but somebody here has genuine feelings for you. Somebody is coming towards you. But I feel like right now, Cancer, you can't see it here with this Five of Cups. Now, it could be also somebody here, I'm going to say, who, you know, has regrets, okay? Somebody who has regrets about something that happened here between you and this person, and they're coming in with an apology. So, like I said, everybody's in different phases in their love life, so take it how it resonates with you. So let's see what we got here. All right, recent past energy. You have the Four of Wands and you have the Six of Pentacles and you have the Knight of Swords, all right? I feel, Cancer, that there was somebody here that either you were in a relationship with or somebody that you saw yourself in a relationship with, all right? Some of you, if you believe in Twin Flame, could be a Twin Flame energy, but it definitely feels like there was an unstable energy here um, where... You weren't getting right, um, you know, equal give and take or close to equal give and take here. It's showing me here that with this Knight of Swords, you were dealing with somebody who possibly was a runner or somebody who was, you know, there for a while, but, you know, they you know, rushed out of your life here. This, I definitely pick up an energy here that there was a situation that you dealt with in the past and it feels like it was not stable, okay? It was either very on or it was very off. And, you know, it could just be in relationship, you know, in relationships in general. Those are the type of energies that you were dealing with, okay? Could have been a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, we also have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and we have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We're going to clarify, and we'll see what that's all about. Now, in your current energy, you do have the Hermit, you have the Strength card, and you have the King of Wands. Okay. I feel that um, definitely there's an energy here of somebody that you are dealing with. Uh, definitely picking up a lot of fire here could also very strong Virgo energy. So I feel like you have somebody here who is holding back. Um, it feels like at the moment they're holding back. Um, they're not taking any action. This is someone I feel they're trying to find their own stability within themselves before taking any action. All right, we're going to see what um, this person here, right, to them, you know, what they're holding back for okay so there's something around stability that this person is holding back right that feels like they want to be in a place of stability within themselves before they take any action we'll see what that's about now in your near future energy it looks really nice remember we have partnerships and alliances we have the emperor strong aries we have the ace of cups and we have the three of pentacles okay so I feel like you have somebody here that is coming towards you. Now, for some of you, right, it could be somebody new coming into your life because this past energy can just signify, right, just the types of relationships that you've dealt with. But others, I feel here, this is somebody with this three of pentacles, somebody here that you felt disappointed. Like I said, it was very on or it was very off. You've got somebody, I feel here, who is now wanting to work on things. But I'm going to say with that emperor energy, this is somebody who does things in their own timing. Like I said, this is somebody who wants to feel secure within themselves before they come towards you. Now, we're going to clarify... Um, we're going to see, right, this Three of Pentacles. We're going to see what this person wants to work on, right, or how they're going to approach you. And I also want to clarify that Ace of Cups as well, okay? So I feel, right, so far, Cancer, it's looking positive, but I want to clarify this Knight of Swords. Why was this person very on or very off, okay? Or why were they a runner here? Let's clarify that, right? Some of you too, like I said, it could be around those are the types of relationships you dealt with, okay? So you have the two of swords. You have the full card. Oh my gosh, look at that. You have the knight of swords again. Let's pull another card here. And you have the Seven of Pentacles, this one wanted to come out too, and the King of Wands again. Okay, and look who showed up again, the Emperor, Aries Energy. So, 
Cancer. I feel like you got, you had somebody or you were dealing with people in the past who were just very indecisive. They didn't know what they want, right? They, they thought it was easier to be single is the energy that I get there, okay? You have the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and you have the King of Wands, all right? So even though I feel like this person, right, you can call this person a runner or you can call the relationships, right, you know, on and off relationships, um, but I feel like this person here now is truly, you know, thinking about things, reflecting on things. And I feel like in the past, though, this was somebody who wasn't, you know, investing, right? They weren't taking the actions that they needed to take to where there could be a place of stability and that could mean right a relationship it could mean marriage um and it, or it could be even living together but this was someone i feel here right it was easier for this person i feel right to just not make any decisions here right and be single because this was somebody who was very indecisive all right so let's uh clarify um, this this base chakra energy, okay? So why was this person holding back? Okay, let's look at that strength card, okay? There may have been some healing, right? Some forgiveness this person had to do uh, within themselves to be ready to feel secure for a relationship. But why is the strength card here, please? Okay, we have the seven of cups. We have the devil, strong Capricorn energy, and the star card, yeah, and the ten of wands. So there's something here emotionally that your person was struggling with, okay, or is currently struggling with because this is in your current energy. So I feel like you have somebody here who... I feel like there's a past situation that this person has had a very hard time letting go of. And that has created a lot of fear for your person. Uh, definitely shows here, your person here, I feel, right? Um, it, like I said, there could be some forgiveness for self. Uh, it could be forgiveness that maybe this person's needing from you, right? To find their balance, to heal from a situation. And this is a burden that this person has been carrying with them here with the Ten of Pentacles. This is what's made this person very imbalanced here, okay? So I feel like you have somebody emotionally who has been, uh, you know, unbalanced here, right? They, they have some sort of past situation that they haven't let go of. And it could be anything. It could be, right, the death of a parent. It could be right? Um, it could be a past relationship. It could be something from their early childhood or even a traumatic experience that they had that's made them very fearful. Okay, so I feel like you got somebody here. They're trying to find their own stability and their own security here. And that's why this person was very on and off with you. I feel cancer. So let's look at the near future energy, which looks really nice. I wanted to clarify first, why is this Ace of Cups here, please? Why is this Ace of Cups here, please? Okay, we have the Three of Cups. We have the Five of Cups. And we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, for a lot of you, Cancer, I feel like this is somebody who is returning. You may even get an apology from this person. Knight of Cups is showing up again. We saw it earlier. Or I think we saw it earlier. <laughs> if we didn't, then I must have seen it in my mind here. But uh, somebody here, look at that. Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. They're coming towards you with an apology, I feel. Or they're coming towards you because they truly do have feelings for you. They see you as somebody that they could be happy with. But the problem was, is this person wasn't happy within themselves to be ready to be with you. You have here the three of cups, the five of cups, and you have the six of pentacles. So this person is definitely, I feel sad without you. They have regrets. I feel they want to communicate with you. So I feel like there's some upcoming communication here with that ace of cups. The Three of Cups there and the Six of Pentacles. 
I feel like this person is going to reach out to you. I feel like they're going to make the effort here because I feel that this is somebody who does see you as somebody they could have a long-term partner with. Somebody that you will have their back. They know that you are very supportive and that they can count on you is the energy I'm picking up there. It's themselves here that they're needing to do the work, right, to be ready for this connection relationship. Let's see why the Three of Pentacles is here, please. Why is the Three of Pentacles here, please? We have the Magician, the Nine of Swords. Oh, turn that around. Chariot, I'm going to pull one more. There's your Energy Cancer. And the Moon card, okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Three of Wands. Okay. So, Three of Pentacles here, right? This in this deck, I always see this as you know, somebody's here is disappointed, somebody's back is turned. I feel like this person has some uncertainty here, right? How you're going to respond to them because you got the moon card here, so there's their fear there, fear of getting hurt, fear of rejection. Um, you have, uh, you know, with the chariot there, okay, your energy there, Cancer. Um, you also have here the Magician and the Nine of Swords, okay? So I feel like they have some fears around how they're going to make things happen with you because it feels like an energy here that this is somebody who, right, um, it does feel like this is somebody who may have messed up somehow, right? <laughs> may have messed up somehow and they're trying to figure things out. Some of you I do get too, there could be distance or travel and that could be why this person is not too sure how to approach things here, okay? You do have the Three of Wands and the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck here. So this is telling me that upcoming here, this person wants to offer their couple love to you. They see you in the future. They see fulfillment with you is the energy that I pick up there. So I feel like your person's trying to figure things out. Let's see what the challenges are here in the situation. What's the challenges here in the situation for Cancer and this person? And then we'll take it to the extended, which we'll dive deeper into your person, right? We'll see what their uh, thoughts, feelings, their actions, their intentions. We'll get some love notes and guidance as well. Okay, so Hammer. So sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So I feel like you could be dealing with somebody. Now, this could be you too, Cancer. There's a challenge here of self-sabotage, all right? And that could be why the energy has been, you know, really on or really off. Somebody here in the connection may be self-sabotaging, okay? You also have the Phoenix, a new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind, right? So there is definitely a transformation here that is happening in the situation, but the challenge here I feel here is that hammer and, and right, the transformation. Somebody here may be, you know, self-sabotaging. I'm going to say it's probably your person because of the fear that keeps showing up in the reading. Oh, look at that. The runner. Yeah, that's another challenge here. I feel like your person's been a runner. And then we have wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise, okay? Your person runs here because they they do see you as somebody they could be with for the long term. I'm going to say I feel here too. They run because they get close to you and then the fear kicks in. So things go really good. Like I said, it's really on, the, you know, they get really close to you and then they get scared and they run, okay? Because this is for real. This is somebody I feel that knows that you and them could really be together for the long term and for whatever reason, right? stemming from the past this scares them okay so i'm gonna say there was probably somebody in their life that they really loved and they lost some, in some sort of way now it can you know be a relationship a marriage it could even be a death so this person has fear of losing right the person that, that they're with so let's get what the guidance let's see what the guidance is and then we'll take it to the extended all right you have boundaries 
Love yourself enough to say no to others' demands on your time and energy, okay? So don't be afraid to say no to this person, right? If this person is not respecting your boundaries, that's telling you, you, you need to say no, okay? Because if this person is really, right, really loves you, they're going to respect your boundaries. We have here Mother Mary. Look at that. Expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Very nice energy there. Oh, look at that. True love. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. All right, Cancer, really nice reading. Uh, we're going to take it into the extended. We're going to get some more information about your person. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.